Sum Jerry. The President, please Le be président. seated. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. On the chamber is now in session. The audience. We pay sa bank down. The sa say net the rural medivet. Today we will hear a testimony of a survivor of S21 security office. Du centre de sécurité de S21. The graph here. Can you report the attendance? Le parties. Um, vérifier la liste des parties présentes. The graphier. La graphière. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. All parties are present. Parties prévues, and the witness présentes. who has to provide a testimony is also here today. Pour le His identification and relationship to the people involved in the Il proceedings has been verified, and the witness has also taken an oath. Pas de relation avec quelque partie the president, que ce soit court officer. Can you bring the witness, Nong Jan Po, into the courtroom? Un serment. Veuillez, dit le président, introduire le témoin dans le prétoire. Uh, good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council. If I could just raise two brief matters before the witness comes into the courtroom as it relates to his testimony this morning. D'aborder un point avec vous avant d'entendre le témoin, avant de l'introduire dans ce prétoire. Peut-être. The President, uh, court officer, can you accompany the witness to the waiting room for now? Je de bien vouloir accompagner le témoin en salle d'attente. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. I apologise. I should have been a little quicker off the mark there. Uh, the two brief matters I'd like to raise. Uh, one is in relation to the statement uh, of this witness. And before I begin, Your Honours, I do believe that this witness is not protected. Is that correct? Il me semble, si je ne me trompe, and, uh, I've just received a nod from one of the judges, so I, I assume that uh, I can use his name in full. Um, one is in relation to a statement that uh, this witness gave to uh, the Documentation Centre of Cambodia on the 13th of February this year, and the other is in relation to the authentic authentication of two Vietnamese videos. But perhaps if I deal with the first matter regarding his statement, as Your Honours are aware, yesterday afternoon, um, a copy of this witness's statement taken by DC Cam on the 13th of February was provided um, to all parties in the chamber via email about midday yesterday. That was in Khmer. At that stage, the statement was not translated, and throughout the afternoon, with the help of uh, CMS, uh, they rapidly tra translated that statement, and it's now available in English and was sent about 4.30 that afternoon. Your Honours, the prosecution received that statement in February of this year. This was at the time where the witness was in fact not a witness, but applying 
À l'époque, les témoins n'étaient pas appropriés de fournir le statement parce que However, les témoins ne se pas. Um, As your honours are aware, that civil party application was refused, um, and in avez, March, sometime later in March, he was placed on the witness list. Refusé, At that time, your honours, it was the, was the prosecutor's submission mars, that the statement uh, le, should have been provided été, by the prosecution, um, but because of the disconnect between his civil party application témoins. and him granting status a witness, Et that connection was not made. And the provision of the statement was overlooked. However, yesterday, once it was discovered in preparation of this witness that that statement was not provided, it was immediately provided to the parties um, the fastest way possible via the email. Having said that, Your Honour, it was not the intention yesterday to place it on the case file, but for uh, clarity. Uh, this morning, uh, we have uh, filed a motion to place that statement and the translation on the case file. Your Honour, in relation to whether or not the statement is placed on the case file, we're in Your Honour's hands. The most important thing for the prosecution is that the prosecution is not in possession of a statement that the trial chamber does not have, nor the parties. And so it's thought appropriate that uh, the statement be provided to the Chamber and the parties. As to the um, legal weight of the statement, the prosecution is making no application at the moment to put it forward under 87.3, simply to place it on the case file. And in any event, if it's not placed on the case file, um, it's deemed important and proper that that statement be provided to all parties to assist them in their questioning today. De Your Honour, the, the second matter is in relation to the authentication of the two Vietnamese videos. And they are Madame, Monsieur, E510 Annex A, ERN number V0027-1181, and it's a clip of 7 minutes and 35 seconds, and E5-10 Annex A, V0027-1182, and it's a clip of 4 minutes and 1 second, the most relevant part being from the beginning to 1 minute and 36. Firstly, Your Honours, uh, most importantly, we would like to make it clear that we, are, we stress we're not asking for a decision on whether or not this, these video clips would be considered evidence under Rule 87.3, and Your Honours can rely uh, on those uh, clips in the judgment. That's not the purpose of the application this morning. We've heard your honours on this matter and you've made it very clear to us that you will decide on the, uh, whether or not it will be viewed as evidence under 87.3 in due course you know, throughout the proceedings. But what we are asking this morning, Your Honours, is that the video clips be shown to the witness to assist the Chamber in determining whether or not it's authentic. As Your Honours are well aware, the Defence have made claims that somehow or another it's a video that uh, has been orchestrated and is a false video. It doesn't purport to be uh, what um, the prosecution um, says, says it does. As Your Honours know, this witness is a child prisoner. He left S21 on the day the Vietnamese came into S21. He was there for the last couple of months. And he is believed, this particular witness, is believed to be on the video. From his expected testimony provided by the civil parties in Group 1, he will be able to assist the Chamber in determining the authenticity un, of this video, cette personne sera as particularly en de when you look at the summary of the statement vidéo. made by the civil parties in en their application uh, early in uh, February or March, where it states that on the day that the Vietnamese came into S21, he made concerted efforts to look for his mother S21 and he went throughout the S21 premises, and in that process he saw sites in relation to dead bodies that were um, in rooms there. That's exactly what the video purports to show. So this witness 
l'objet de l'authentification est de ce que pourrait He is the best witness, Your Honours, to be able to identify whether he appears in the video or not. Il être la personne la plus à même de dire si oui ou non. We submit that it's a very unique opportunity today to be able to authenticate the video to help Your Honours in the decision-making process. And we ask that this opportunity not be lost, as this possibly and most probably is the best witness to provide at this trial to provide the evidence as whether or not it's an authentic and accurate video that has been put forward by the prosecution. So there are my brief submissions, Your Honours. If you have any questions other than that, I'm complete. Les coprocureurs, ce matin, je m'en remets à vous si vous souhaitez obtenir des compléments d'information. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je souhaiterais effectivement pouvoir obtenir des précisions sur les requêtes qui viennent d'être formulées par les coprocureurs. S'agissant tout d'abord de documents dont il est demandé, le... Alors, je ne sais pas s'il est demandé, est-ce qu'il soit versé au dossier ou produit au débat, ce qui, me semble-t-il, n'est pas tout à fait la même chose, mais je crois comprendre que l'objectif, c'est qu'il soit utilisé. Donc, je comprends que c'est une demande de versement au débat et non pas simplement au dossier. Est-ce que c'est bien l'intention des coprocureurs que ce document soit versé au débat et pas simplement au dossier we would be happy that the uh, statement be included in the proceedings. However, the most important aspect is that it be provided to all the parties. But yes, our application is that uh, it be included in the proceedings. Si j'ai bien également entendu ce qui a été dit ce matin, cette demande est fondée sur la règle 87.4 du règlement intérieur. C'est exact. Your Honor, the the application that's in in writing is just to place the statement on the case file. Um, we would be happy if it's taken to a, into account as evidence under Rule 87.3, but the most important thing for the prosecution that it's made available to the parties to assist them in questioning. De l'avant, je dirais que oui, mais la chose la plus importante, c'est que ce document soit fourni aux parties. Si je comprends bien, on a une demande à double détente, à double demande. Une première demande pour que la pièce soit versée au dossier et une autre demande pour que éventuellement elle puisse être versée au débat et utilisée devant la chambre pour discuter devant la chambre. C'est bien cela Oui, Monsieur le Juge, c'est le cas. Alors, si j'ai bien compris également, il s'agit donc d'un entretien qui a été réalisé par l'organisation non gouvernementale d'ICICAM, est-ce exact Et est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire la date exacte à laquelle cet entretien a été réalisé That's correct, Your Honours. The interview was conducted on the 13th of February this year. Il s'agit d'un entretien qui a eu lieu le 13 février 2009. Donc, depuis le 13 février 2009, l'entretien, dont je suppose qu'il a eu lieu en Cambodgien, en Khmer, est disponible. Il existe depuis cette date. It is available since the 13th of February 2009, I believe. And I also believe that it was conducted in Khmer. Est-ce que 
Une version en cambodgien a été versée au dossier ou est-ce qu'il n'existe à ce jour aucune version de ce document, ni en Khmer, ni en anglais dans le dossier Well, the English and the Khmer was filed with the case file this morning before we came into court. But prior to that, the Khmer was not placed on the case file. And the reason being that at that stage, it was a civil party application. And it was thought at that stage not appropriate to place it on the case file, as it was felt that that statement would end up on the case file through that civil party application. However, that did not happen. Once it was discovered, that uh, once it was decided by the trial chamber to reject the civil party application and the, the applicant became a witness, the connection between the statement and his testimony in court was not made at that point and it was discovered yesterday that the statement wasn't disclosed in the case file and the most important thing for the prosecution was that it was be provided to the chamber and the parties so that they have all available information to them. À la Chambre de manière à ce que les uns et les autres puissent disposer euh, du maximum d'informations possibles concernant ce document. La Judge seule chose Nadern, que je souhaite clarifier à ce stade, c'est like pour quelle raison le document qui a priori était disponible en Khmer n'a pas été versé jusqu'à maintenant ou pourquoi il n'y a pas eu de demande jusqu'à maintenant de versement de dossier de ce document en Khmer. Je crois que vous nous avez donné des explications, sachant que effectivement. Il y a bien eu une demande tout d'abord de conscience de partie civile, une demande qui, me semble-t-il, n'a pas été acceptée parce qu'elle était tardive. Il y a eu ensuite une demande de la part d'un groupe de parties civiles pour que ces personnes soient entendues en tant que témoins, mais à aucun de ces stades n'a été versé au dossier la version Khmer de cet entretien. Est-ce qu'on est bien d'accord Le coprocureur international. Le micro n'a pas été allumé, l'interprète n'a pas entendu. Je crois que votre micro n'était pas allumé et donc on ne vous a pas entendu dans les cabines. C'est correct. Vous êtes en train de me parler. C'est exact, Monsieur le juge. Alors, Judge Lavergne. Il est certain donc, que il y a sûr un that problème concernant there donc, is a problem le caractère éventuellement tardif hein, de la production de, de ce document. Et, on appartiendra éventuellement à la défense de faire des observations à ce niveau-là. So, concernant le, les extraits vidéo, vidéo excerpts, je ne comprends pas très bien votre requête. Vous ne demandez pas à ce qu'on exactly. sur euh, actuellement et pendant la question de savoir si well, on doit admettre if, ce document pour qu'il soit versé au débat, so puisqu'il a déjà été admis comme un nouveau document. document. Ce problème, c'est savoir s'il peut être versé au débat. Et vous demandez à ce que ce document puisse être projeté document pour que le témoin so puisse nous dire s'il est authentique ou pas. Mais vous souhaitez que But cette projection ait lieu au cours des débats, qu'elle ait lieu Or that it take place outside. I don't really understand. I'm not quite clear about this. Your Honour, I'm asking that the video be played during the proceedings, so that this witness, who is the best witness to be able to authenticate the video, can provide his opinion to this chamber as to whether or not it has a certain level of reliability as contested by the defence. With that knowledge, with that opinion, that your honours may accept or reject in relation to this, this witness's opinion and others, then I would submit that your honours would be in a far better position to determine whether or not the video is, or video is authentic. It's our respectful submission that the only issue here is, is whether or not the video 
can be relied, up, re que relied upon by your honours in the judgment si under 87.3. And to uh, come to that determination, we would submit that it's important that your honours have the best vidéo. opinions, the best evidence on the authenticity of the video to come to that determination. Without that, de we would submit that it would be difficult to come to that decision. The public showing of the, of the video in, in many respects, I would submit, is not so much the issue, it's the legal issue as to whether or not it can be relied on under 87.3. And to get to that point, we would submit it would be useful, very useful, to ask this witness opinion who is in the video whether or not it's accurate depiction de of what he saw when he was there la when the Vietnamese came to S21. De cette, uh, séquence vidéo et, uh, par ce a pu voir et vivre lorsqu'il était à S21. Um, merci, Monsieur Judge, Procureur, pour ces thank précisions. you, Mr. Smith, for these clarifications. Thank you, Mr. President. Just one matter, Mr. Smith, in relation to Madame the video. Uh, you are question, suggesting Monsieur that this witness may well be in a position to authenticate it, uh, and you are suggesting that it be shown in public. Would there not be a difficulty in showing it in public if it transpires that there are some doubts about its authenticity after the witness has viewed it? Um, des questions qui se posent en termes de son authenticité après Thank you, Your Honor. une fois We're in Your Honor's hands le, as to whether or not uh, it should be shown in public or in closed session. Réponse, in terms of as a legal uh, issue, um, it's respectfully submitted that uh, this is part of the normal uh, court process uh, of decision making and transparency that uh, it's appropriate that uh, as much of this trial be public. However, de la we're in your hands, whether it be um, in closed session et, or public session. Il nous semble que plus les débats seront publics, mieux ce sera. Mais nous nous en remettons tout à fait à votre décision, Madame et Monsieur les juges. Doing. I notice the presence of Alain Bernard. The floor is yours. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, parties. I just wanted to, because we are implicated, as you know. Because we are the one who initially requested for this, with, for this um, now witness to be at the time a civil party. So I just wanted to say that everything Mr. Smith says is absolutely correct. Um, and I just want to, um, to um, bring one precision because maybe there are some doubts now about this, um, um, this statement. Um, just for the, for the record to be clear, um, indeed on 4th February 2009, that the time when, when this witness went to victims' unit um, and tried, attempted to file an application, and he was told at the time it was too late. Um, and then on the 16th of February, it was over the weekend, you will remember it was before the initial hearing or maybe on the Monday, he signed a power of uh, attorneys instructing my lead counsel Karen Khan and ourselves and that is uh, the time where indeed we filed um, a, re a request to your um, Mr. President uh, to extend the deadline uh, of two days and for this um, now witness to be a civil parties. And as you, Mr. Smith, absolutely rightly stated, it was rejected. Now, I just want to make clear that because this initial hearing was on 17 and it was a very, very busy time, I think there was some lack of communication between our group and DCCAM. And I was not aware that this statement had been taken on the 13th of February um, 2009. I did not know, and uh, as everybody else, I discovered yesterday that there had been a statement. Um, so I just want to make that clear um, on the record that we are in the same position that everybody else, and I read myself the statement last night. I would like to say something, just something else for the record to be clear. Instructed by my, my lead counsel, Karen Khan, we decided once you rendered your decision, 
dire autre chose. On the 10th of April 2009, and you decided you admitted this Northam Palace as a witness. From that time, we decided that it would not be proper for us to talk to North Champal because he was not a civil party, but he was a witness. So since that time, we have not been talking um, to uh, North Champal. Uh, I did not see him uh, in the last days or, or nothing, so we have decided that because he's, he's, he's uh, the court's witness now and not a civil party, then we should refrain from talking to him. And I just wanted to make that clear on the record. Thank you. Maître cela, insister sur ce fait, clarifier la chose au fin des débats et au fin des notes de danse. Notice the presence of the defense counsel. You take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Thank you, Mr. Have its submission before the chamber. The defense counsel think it is not appropriate for us to put the document before this chamber for questioning now. The co-prosecutors actually received the statement from the DC camp for almost six months, and the defense counsel only received the statement yesterday afternoon after four. And only this morning that I had the statement in my hand. So we do not have time to read the document. So in order to question the chamber, we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. And we have to wait for the chamber to respond. Ce qu'il ressort de ce document, document yet, then we par conséquent, nous n'avons pas encore eu, n'ayant pas encore n'ayant eu ce document que tout à fait dernièrement, nous ne sommes pas en mesure de poser la question telle à la SE à la and différence on the matter, des coproquereurs qui ont ce document depuis six mois. Clips, S'agissant de l'autre point, à savoir les euh, extraits vidéo, Request every day, every morning, to include those video clips. And the president always reminds the co-prosecutor that on one on an appropriate day they will discuss. Les juges they ont exprimé le fait que, videos, en temps voulu, ils s'attiront sur la recevabilité de ces euh, séquences vidéo qu'ils en ont et informeront les parties de leur décision so en temps voulu. Cette demande a été faite une nouvelle request. fois ce matin. Par conséquent, you, les, la défense ne peut euh, aller dans le sens de cette demande. Je vous remercie. The president, we know the president of the international court lawyer. The president, the defense. Yes, sir. Quoi, avocat international, je vous en prie. Oui, celle de Bob. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais peut-être juste me permettre de rajouter par rapport à ce que mon confrère vient de dire. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas dans quel cas nous devons nous rendre. Nous ne savons pas
Euh, morning, je voudrais faire une brève observation sur ce point. Morning, je crois que euh, ce document vidéo circule, euh, je dirais même librement et publiquement. Je pense qu'à ce point, il serait quand même important que ce document soit soumis so aux témoins pour qu'une observation euh, réelle puisse être faite sur ce document, uh, so that he can qui sera accepté ou non accepté, uh, mais qu'on sorte euh, d'un flou qui, à mon avis, ne dessert pas la... La manière dont le, le, la, dont le public But peut ressentir uh, l'examen de certains documents. Ces documents sont plus de portée à un moment donné. Il me semble opportun qu'ils soient soumis aux au témoins qui ont été le sujet, qui pourra donner un accord ou au contraire donner un désaccord. Et également, ça sera un élément complémentaire à l'information euh, pour l'ensemble des participants à cette juridiction. En ce qui concerne le texte de l'interview, nous avons aussi une connaissance qui est extrêmement tardivement. Euh, les questions orales peuvent pallier à la production de ce document, mais qui sinon effectivement constituent malgré tout un document de travail important. Ce qui est regrettable, c'est qu'il ait été communiqué euh, aussi tardivement et en particulier euh, en langue anglaise. Merci beaucoup. Uh, Ms. Jacquin, I th thought you said only in English. It's also in Khmer, uh, as far as I'm aware. Is that not the position? Uh, Madam President, we have not had the information of the communication of this document in Khmer, but it's true that Khmer is a language with difficult access. And so we had an exemplar in the English language, which is very difficult. We had only to English and only belatedly. Well, as you know, the filing rules require Comme two languages, savez, one of which should be Khmer, so it, it has been complied with, although it is unfortunate that the third language is not available. Ce document est dans les deux langues, cela a été, je crois, ce document est disponible dans les deux langues, malheureusement pas dans la troisième pour l'instant. The chamber has heard uh, the requests made by the co-prosecutor concerning the statement of the interview of uh, the to be avec, uh, to give testimony to the témoin. witness. The statement dated on the 13th of February 2009, and the second request is concerning the videos, the two footage of videos, whether they can be shown in public or in camera session so that the witness can authenticate it. Uh, and the civil party lawyers 
show their support while the Parti Civil uh, uh, Defense Council uh, has expressed uh, their objection object. regarding the legal aspects of the presentation of such a video. The Chamber would like to make an adjournment for 15 minutes to retire to deliberate regarding the matter and we would like questions. to apologize to Nong Chan Pao for this, in, uh, this inconvenience uh, that he cannot be called to testify according to the schedule due to the legal matters. Uh, selon le calendrier fixé. And this matter has nothing to do with uh, his personality of the witness, so I hope uh, he understands it. Uh, so we would like to take a 40-minute uh, adjournment. 45, excuse me. Mr. Castlewood, thank you, Mr. President. I would like your permission to give you a uh, some comment that uh, the civil party said that uh, they would like the video footage uh, to be shown in Nong Chan Paul is here que, uh, and that it is easy for him to authenticate uh, the video. But uh, previously, when the co-prosecutor made such a request uh, to show such a video footage, uh, was uh, Nong Chan Paul present? He was not. There. So Nantian I believe Pal that uh, maybe it would be better that the video footage could be shown at a later date uh, so Nong Chan Paul can be here. He can be called uh, into the court at any time the Nantian chamber Pal would le wish to do so. Thank you. Ces séances vidéo afin de les authentifier. Cela peut se faire à une date ultérieure. <coughs> Mr. President, if I can just make one brief remark. I didn't quite understand what the Defence Council stated, but just to be clear, it's alleged and it's believed to be that Non Champal is in this video. It's quite clear there's an eight-year-old, nine-year-old boy that appears in the video, and it's believed to be him. The president. the president, we have already announced that we would uh, take an adjournment so that we can retire to de deliberate on the pending requests uh, and uh, also to respond to the objections by the Defense Council. And uh, we will take 45 minutes starting from now. And after that duration, then the decision on the matter would uh, be rendered. Après quoi nous notre décision.